believe it or not, my group of 49er fan, my my mom's side of the family, they all cowboy fans, big cowboy fans, loved everything about eight man. All of them. So I, I kind of rock with my dad's side of the family. They was all 49er fans, man. So believe it or not, I, I was made to be a 49er. <laughs> Not a fam today got the pleasure of talking to Jeremy Curry. As you know, we got him from the deal from the Detroit Lions. Got blessed to get one of the best slot receivers. Man, this man can play. Jeremy, hello. How you doing, man? Jeremy, you from Texas, right? Yes, sir. And you grew up a Cowboy fan, didn't you? Never, man. Believe it or not, man, I grew up a 49er fan, man. My mom's side of the family, they all cowboy friends, big cowboy <laughs> friends, loved everything about eight man, all of them. So I, I kind of rock with my dad's side of the family. They was all 49er friends, man. So believe it or not, I, I was made to be a 49er. Look at this. All right. That's awesome, man. I'm telling you. So I mean, you just got built, built right into the family you're supposed to be in. So I was yeah, saying, I was right at home. Yeah. Jeremy, I got to tell you though, man, all of us, just about every 49er fan is wondering. You came in the middle of August, couple of weeks to prepare, get on the field, and running the Kelly's offense like nobody else on the team. I mean, Jeremy Curry could have held classes on how to run Kelly's. Jeremy, what's up with that, man? Is that just that natural intelligence of a slot receiver? Is that because you knew the plays? How, how, what's happening with that? I mean, I, I like to think, man, football is football. If you can ball, you can ball. I think just coming in, man, and honestly, I didn't know what to expect. I, I knew you had to be in shape for a Chip Kelly offense. I didn't know you had to be in shape like that. So, but man, coming in, uh, man, I wore my butt out. I stayed, I stayed late so much, man, the first week, just trying to make sure I didn't slow everything down. So, I worked my butt out, man, and then when I came in, you know, I didn't know what to expect, and then, I mean, it's, it just everything just ended up working out, man. It sure did. Jeremy Curley, as you know, is the number one receiver in yards gained. And that was after a couple of weeks after the transition between Kaepernick and Gabbard. And Jeremy developing chemistry out there with Kaepernick. Jeremy, it's coming along though now. You and Cap made connection like crazy this last game, man. Yeah, it just, it just felt like it, we we was, I don't know if it's if it's him adjusting to me or me adjusting to him or whatever it was, man. We didn't talk about it. It just clicked. It just happened to work. Like even the scramble, the scramble play when we scored a touchdown. Mm -hmm. It's just I felt the defender was sitting low. I don't know if he just and Tory helped it out a lot. I don't know if y'all seen it, but Tory was sitting on point and telling him to throw it to me, man. But I don't know. We was just on the same page, man. And we got that touchdown. Man. I was like, man, it's everything just coming together. I love it. You know, and, and it, just that play alone reminds me because the fact that you knew about that defender out there. I mean, I mean, what I want to know is this. Do you ever come back to the huddle and say, Cap, look, man, I got to do this dude cannot cover me, man. Look for me. I'll be out there. Does that happen a lot? Of course, man, all the time, man. It's, that, that's part of the game. That's part. You got you got certain guys that can do certain things. You got certain mismatches. If I see something, I'm coming to him. I come to him during, during the, after the play, right in the huddle. Like, look, man, this dude cannot cover me, bro. Let's call this play and let's get this, let's get this, this touchdown or whatever we got to do, man. But let's call this. And Jeremy flies into the end zone and gives it. Jeremy, you know, you got they got that pose all over, man. When you score the touchdown, is that a ritual? Do you do, you do the same thing every time? Because the the pose and the smile, that's just, <laughs> this man I, has got personality along with his game. I love it. <laughs> man, every time, every time, man, I, nah, I don't, I don't have anything planned. Man. I just go off, off adrenaline. I just go off the reaction, man. It's just. I love the game so much, man. When I get in the end zone, I never know when I'm gonna get back off in there. So I gotta do something to just to just celebrate, man. Just have fun. Besides, <laughs> man, it's like it's football. It's you can be doing a thousand things in the world, man. You can have, you know what I mean, anything else. I'm playing football, so I'm happy. <laughs> Jerry, we know, man. Cause I coach you, Jerry says, I can spin it. We know you can quarterback. And I you know can't give away too many, too much though. But the thing is, is it possible that Kelly may call your number, some kind of flea flicker peg, something. Get Jerry the ball, it won't be expected. Drop a pass down to Tory or anybody, or Quentin, QP, somebody. Is that, has anybody discussed that? You know what, I, I think we need to speak that in, into existence. I think we keep, 
I need the fans to get involved too, man. I need them to 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 get into Chip Kelly or uh, somebody else, uh, man. Cause I've been waiting for a little reverse pass or screen pass somewhere I can throw that ball down field, man. My quarterback rate ain't looking too bad either. <laughs> you got it. You heard it. We gotta get in Chip's ear. Start petitioning. Let Curly throw the ball, man. Uh, ooh, this this would bring the house down. And Levi needs something like that. You got a clothing line, and I didn't even know you had a passion for fashion. I've been checking you out, man. And you know, you you are a very diverse individual. What about this clothing line, man? Talk talk to us a little bit about that. Uh, um, I've been in the fashion man for a while, and ever since, you know, this is a good thing about being in the NFL and you know having the context that you have. It's uh, it's allowed me to you know just kind of reach out and talk to different people and get different ideas and stuff. And I have a jean line that's uh, called Dime Jeans, which is D-Y-M, it stands for my kids' names. Yeah. They shine, Manny and Malai. Yeah. But uh, it's something that I'm passionate about. Um, it's up and coming, it's something that's new, it's something that's trending. And uh, I think if you if you step into it, you know, if you, you check it out and get a hold to them, you'll like it, everybody will like it. And I also have uh, shirts and women's dresses, so it's not just a men's thing, but um, fashion has always been something that I've, it's been a little niche for me. All right, so, so Jeremy, you get behind some of the things. I mean, it's not like you're just appointing people to do that work. You get behind some of the fashion designs and, 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 and do some of the lettering and all that stuff. Is that Are you involved in all that then? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm hands-on with everything, all, all the way to, you know, the, um, the stitching and, you know, the distressed cuts, all that stuff that's in there. Man, I'm, I'm vocal with everything. I have an input and I have a say-so on everything. So it's not just, hey, I just need this and I just want this and nah, I'm... I'm hands on with all my stuff. <laughs> Check Jeremy out. You thought he was just a wide receiver? Man, he was telling, if we had more time, Jeremy probably cooks and everything else, man. <laughs> <You're> impressed. <laughs> I got to get it done, man. I got to. Jeremy, before we stop, you got the Patriots coming up Sunday. What is your feeling going in that game? Is it like, we can do this? We know we can hang with this. We can win this. I mean, I'm sure you're going with every game with that feeling, but. Some of the things, I mean, there's always that positiveness. What, what is your outlook on this game? I think being in New York for five years, you built a hate relationship for this team, for, for the Patriots. And it's just, that's, that's just how, that's just the nature of, of how it was when I was there. So just playing this team now, it's, it's almost nothing's changed. Like, you know, I don't like them. They don't like us, you know, or me for that matter. So every time I step into that game, man, it's just, I, I want to, I want to destroy them, you know what I'm saying, for lack of a better word. Yeah. And I think just how the season going right now, you know, it's, it's, it hasn't been going our way, but just this last game, man, and I think I can speak for everybody. We headed in the right direction yeah. with a lot of stuff. And uh, I mean, what what this is the best opportunity that we, we can have coming off of that game to play the Patriots. You know what I'm saying, to just prove to ourselves and you know, just that, that if we put something together for four quarters, man, everybody clicking on the same page, you know, we can really do some special things. So it'd be a good thing to prove it against this team. I believe, I believe, I believe it even before you said it anyway. I've already told Puppy, man, the 49ers yeah. going to beat the Patriots this Sunday, y'all. We're getting ready for that. They've been inching back and inching back. Looks like everybody's on the same page now with the offense. The defense is starting to click. There's no reason to lose this game. All right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> We getting some, we getting some key players back too, man. So hopefully, man, it's, look out for it, man. We we'll, we'll do some special things. <laughs> Jerry, I want you to give me a holler, man, because I, I'm, 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 you beat me for a minute. I'm sitting in the stands. <laughs> Jerry Curley has just caught a touchdown pass. What would be your reaction if you was a fan on a three? If I was a fan and Jeremy Curley just caught a touchdown pass. Yeah. I'm mimicking his dance. Whatever he do, whatever crazy style he got, I'm doing the same thing. That's, that's how I would do it. <laughs> I like that. Whatever he do, I'm doing it too. <laughs> Jeremy, I want to thank you so much for your time today, man. I'll tell you what, I will be doing the holler for you come Sunday, man, because I know you got... Jeremy, I, I got Jeremy Curley picked up for at least one TD and at least five yard line, 10 yard line before they can even catch it. You know what, one thing about you, Jeremy, with crazy? If you're within a few few yards from the end zone, if there's one man there, the man is dead meat. Every time there's one defender there, <laughs> you, just, you toy with him and waltz in. You got to. You got to. <laughs>
I gotta say, man, it's a, it's a kids game, man. It's a kid. You gotta have fun with it. You got to. It's entertainment. You gotta have fun with it. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Appreciate it, man. Good luck, Slender. Man, I appreciate it, man. Thank y'all. How do you sleep at night? Are you lost, mama? Where have you gone? Are you lost, mama? Are you on your way home? Are you lost, mama? Will you be back soon? Are you lost, mama? Tell me what did we do? Are you lost, mama? Where have you gone? Are you lost, mama? Are you on your way home?